G'day guys, welcome back. It's froggy day. Yes, don't you just love these frogs? Now, I've done a few. Actually, I've done another one, a pebble one as well. So this is my fifth one. So I did the, the gold one. And I've done the silver one with the glitter. And I did the black one with the skeleton leaf in it. And I did tell you I was going to do a copper one. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do the copper, kind of a rose gold kind of a look. And I'm going to use this. It's Let's Resin's Mixology Glitter called Pink Opal. And I thought those two would look pretty together. But I'm not going to do the same as I've done with these two because I've already done them. So, you know, with, with the, the glitter on the legs and on the feet and all that. I'm just going to do some along the back. Uh, probably do a bigger amount like this one. And then I'm going to dust the remainder of the mold with my copper. And then when it's done, I'm going to color the toes with black. So similar to this kind of look, but it's going to have black toes. Just because I've done two like this already and I want to do something different. So we'll put those out of the way, nice and safe. And the other thing that I wanted to try out was these little eyes. So I think with frogs they go that way. I think snakes they go that way, but frogs they go that way. So what I've done, and I did this oh, a few days ago, they're in there. Because I had a little bit of... Um, resin left over so I just popped a when it was a you got to do it when the resin's quite thick otherwise the eyes will just keep sliding down so I waited until my resin was quite thick I took a little drop I popped it in there I stuck the eyes on so to see if they were in the right way because when you're putting them in you don't know because it's got like this little bit of paper on the back so what I did was I got my marker and I looked very carefully. If you hold it up to the light, you can kind of see where the, the line is. So you can either put the line like that, or if you can't see the line through it, you can just have a look and see where the line is. You can put a little dot there, like so, and then turn it around and see where the, see where the line is is on there and then you put a dot there see and then all you got to do is join up that line so that that tells you where the line is okay so that's what I did easy peasy lemon squeezy all right moving on put those away that comes in different colors but I'm using the um, blue today that's the blue that I stuck in there anyway. So that's what we're doing. Right, moving on. There's a lot to tell you. There's always a lot to tell you. Um, make sure that your mold's nice and clean. Make sure that you, you know, get your bits of tape and clean it because if it's been sitting out, mine's been sitting out for a couple of weeks. <laughs> so it's probably got dust and stuff in it. So make sure that you clean it out. Now, when you're using glitter in resin, it sinks, right? So to combat that, I'm going to wait until my resin kind of thicks up, thickens up a little bit um, before I put it in. But I will, I will add my glitter. So this is that pinky one. Cut my finger. <laughs> I was, I had some dog hair, like I was cutting the top of the poodle's head, and I had some hair like that, and you know it was like sticking up like that, and I went snip, snip, snip. Oops cut my finger <laughs> oh dear that's what that is um anyway back to the resin so there we go so you can see it's kind of a, a pinky goldy kind of holographic -y kind of look excuse my dirty stick i use my sticks all the time one of my favorite sticks <laughs> because you know wood is um porous so if you use a new stick it releases all these bubbles and, and you don't want that so I use my resin coated sticks over and over so that's about as thick as I want I don't want to make it too too glitter full so at the moment it's still really thin um, so if I had to pour that now all the glitter would fall down to the back 
Um, I mean, you can still see other bits of glitter in there, but most of it's kind of fallen to the other side and you get the bigger pieces showing. Um, although, if, you, if you're not too fast, you can make it, like, you know, a bit thicker. Like, put more in there and it's more dense and then you won't notice, you know, if any falls through to the back or not. So, you could do that. That way you wouldn't have to wait. So, maybe we'll do that. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, we'll just leave it like that for a little while. Um, I'm going to wait for it to thicken up and then I'll pour it in. This is the Platinum 360 Plus. You only need a little bit for the first coat. 25 grams of A, about 12 grams of B. Um, and then that will be it. So I'm going to have quite a decent amount, actually. I'm going to see if I can make it a little bit higher than I would normally, only because I'm not doing the, the knees and the elbows as well. All right. I'll be back shortly once it's had a chance to thicken up a bit. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes, I guess. Um, my cup is starting to feel warm. Well, my resin is starting to feel warm in my cup. So I'll pour it in and I'll see how far up the sides I can get. Hopefully a little bit further than I got with my previous ones. All right, here we go. I'll give that a bit of a stir. So hopefully it won't all kind of just the glitter won't all just fall to the the bottom so what I'm looking for here is that's where the leg is and I have to just make sure that it's not going to go over into the leg so I think that's about as far as I can get push it in there a little bit more so I can get it Make sure it's going over those eyes. I'm going to cover the eyes this time. Hopefully that will be all right. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do for now. Look, I've got a little bit left. Guess what I'm going to do? A puffy heart. I know, I know. Oh. Now, I will be doing a video shortly on um, the puffy hearts. So keep an eye out for that. And, oh my gosh, they are the the most magical colors you have ever seen together. So um, I'll be doing that soon, but I'm just gonna fill this up and uh, I'll be back to you when this has cured and uh, we can start dusting it with the copper, okay? It's the Art Tree Creations copper. So, see you soon. Right, so this first layer has set. It's been Oh, I don't know, about four hours, maybe. Lost track of time. <laughs> so I'm going to take my copper and just paint it everywhere, everywhere on the mold. It's a nice, easy one. You don't have to worry about, you know, only doing it on a little part and you know, stopping the glitter from running down from the toes if you put glitter in the toes. So, yeah, it's it's probably a, an easier one to do, I guess, if you're maybe new to resin and you don't want to do too many steps. But you still want to have something really, really gorgeous. And, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I've done, I've done it twice or, or thrice <laughs> um, where I've put the glitter in the toes. So I just want to do it a bit different this time. Now, when you're doing this, you have to be really, really careful that you don't dislodge the uh, resin that you've already got there. Like you don't want to pop it loose on any of the little edges. Um, otherwise, you know, you, you, you're going to have the copper colored resin seeping through. So you have to be really, really careful. Now, it's a little bit tricky. You're getting, you know, you're going to get down in here, in the knees. So just, you know, take your time. I'll, I'm just going to do a little bit and then I'll, I'll turn the camera off. You don't need to watch me doing the whole thing. Or I'll fast forward it for you. Put on some music. So I'm going to go in there and do the little toes. Because I'm just going to pour my copper in there. I'm not going to put black in it. Um, 
otherwise you know you'll be able to see black through your glitter when I mix up my clear resin I'll be putting this same copper mica powder or um, I think it's more of a metal powder into my resin to color it so I'm not doing black so that you will be able to see the copper through this through the back of the frog now it's a little bit tricky trying to get in here there's not much room if you had like a really short brush you could easily just get it in there but it's hitting the side here maybe I'll have to snap it in half or something <laughs> so I can get in there but look I'm doing the best I can get in there get in there bring it right up to the edges all right, so that's one foot done. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to do the rest. Uh, and then I'll come back to you once I've mixed up my resin. Right oh, that's done. It's all nice and shimmery and shiny. Now I get asked quite a bit, why do I dust the mold? Why don't I just pour the copper mica in there? You can, by all means you can, but you will get a different look from the mica powder mixed in. It'll be kind of darker and kind of a little bit grainy looking whereas this dusting it on is going to give you an ultra smooth ultra shiny surface but if you don't want to dust by all means just pour your copper in but yeah you you may be disappointed you do get a different look now pop you back on the tripod here alrighty now I totally forgot that I was um using the platinum 360 plus and i should have used the river table resin because it's about that deep so i'm not going to be able to use all of this so i'll pour in and i'm just going to pour in and let the resin find its own way so i'll pour half the depth And then I'll have to find something else to do with the rest of that. Because if I pour that whole depth with the 360 plus, it will flash cure. Um, it'll be ruined. So that's that's the depth I've got there. So I don't want to be pouring any deeper than that with the 360 plus. Oh, actually, it's probably not quite half yet. I better do it just a touch more, just a little splash more. That way I've got half half. That's what I normally do with the frogs. All right, so once this has set up enough that it's not sticky um, and it's cooled, then I'll, I'll come back and uh, I'll do the next layer and then we will be done. And look, that'll only take a couple of hours, so uh, two or three hours and it'll be ready to go. So it's great you can do a whole project in one day. See you shortly. Right, here we go. This layer has set. No flash curing, so yay! Well, it cured fast, but it didn't do the traditional flash curing, you know, where it gets really hot and it starts to bubble up and starts to smoke and all that kind of awful stuff. Now, let's let that hopefully run into the little toes and things. I hope I've got enough. 
Normally I know how much to make up, but because I did it, I'm doing it in two batches, I've kind of forgotten. Because I added more last time and I made puffy hearts out of it, so that's okay. Just going to make sure I've got enough. I will use my little tool. Leave that rest in there. Um, you know these little, these little thingies here with the cotton buds on the end? Um, when the cotton buds broken off so, um, it's really good to just use the end because <laughs> not as sharp as it like a toothpick is um, but it's good for just pushing resin into little toes I'm not touching the mold I'm just sort of pushing the top of the resin to get it to go in there so I, I won't bore you while I do all of the toes, but basically that's all we're going to do today. Make sure there's no bubbles under there. Oh, oh, those are done. Those back ones are done. I don't have to do those. Okay, I'll just do these. Uh, and then, um, yeah, tomorrow I will unmold. It's getting a bit late now. I started a bit late in the day. So I'll wait till it's totally cured. I mean I could unmold tonight just before I go to bed but I've got other things to do tonight. I have to make moulds so I won't get to this tonight but I will do it first thing in the morning. Just fill the rest up there. So this, this second batch I made of resin was 40 grams of A and 18 grams of B and I do like to fill it right up to the top because when the resin cures, it kind of shrinks a bit and pulls away from the side. And I just find if I fill it up as much as I can, it's almost doming. Then I don't have too much of that little sharp lip, you know, that you have to kind of sand back. I just filled up a little bit more. And that was perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, that's it. Stick a fork in me. I am done. See you tomorrow. Right, are you ready? Let's get started. Oh, so excited about this one, you guys. This has been very long awaited, hasn't it? I know, I told you guys quite a while ago that I was going to do this one and hadn't done it yet. I think that's what these are for, <laughs> to hold to pull. <laughs> so I always start at the back and then work my way down to the head because you can like, wriggle it out. You've got to be really careful you don't break a toe off. Let's come back to that area. Let's do this one. Yeah, super excited. I woke up this morning and went, oh, it's unmolding day. Yay. <laughs> super excited. All right, here we go. Always got to be careful of these little toes. Stresses me out having to pull <laughs> from here because I think, oh my god, I'm gonna break a toe. Just be careful because you can't, you can't like get in there, you know. I'm gonna do it from this side. Just do it gently. Just take your time. Like it, it comes out easily. It's just that little bit that's stuck in there. It's just a bit difficult. All right, and then you just ease it out like that. Right, my mold's getting a little bit old. <laughs> I need to get a new one. It's got, you know, once it's got a few scratches on it, like underneath, probably from my brush. It's probably from, um, yeah, I'd say it's probably from when I've gone in there with the brush and the metal side has scratched. I need to buy myself a new one. I've only got one. All right, hang on. I'm going to stand on my box, my little step. Get my step out and then I can, there we go. Now I can look into the screen. <sighs> Are we ready? Oh, I'm so excited. All right, here we go. One. I saw an eye. Two. <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Look at him. Look at his eyes. What do you think? <laughs> He's got pretty blue eyes. Oh, love it. That's, that's just what I wanted. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. So pretty. See, I've come down with the glitter and I got into his nose there, right into his nose, under his eyes, as far back as I could. And I just wanted all that glitter. 
I mean, the other ones, you know, they had the glitter there and there and there and there and there and there. And I, I didn't want that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And you, you don't worry about that little bit on the bottom there. Look, no one can see it, but I do need to get myself a new mould. Right. Now, this is where I wanted to do the little black Tootsie Toes. All right. Let's see if I can... See if I can do it. Oh, I love those eyes, you guys. Look at them. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad they've worked out. And they, they look as if they're even too. <laughs> I might actually put a little, if I can, put a little black mark, like in his in his mouth. I can't do it with this. This is thick. Oh my gosh, look how look how blunt that is. Alright. Without further ado, let's see if I can do this. Probably gonna have to like put it down on the bench and um, and do it because it's not gonna be real easy holding it up like this because I'm holding it like in front of me so that you can see it but in reality if I was doing it I wouldn't be holding it like that I'd be holding it up close to me so I could see but I'll just do one I'm not gonna do like the whole the whole base like of the side um, I'm just going to do just the top. Pretty easy, just going around like that, actually. And there's <laughs> there's one. Oh gosh! See, I figured <clears throat> the black, the black in the eye would um, kind of pick up the black on the toe. So that was my my thoughts. I could I could go with some black. I'm going to swap pens. Uh, where's my other one? I've got this, it's a really fine one. Let's see if I can get in there and do his little mouth with this little fine one. Around we go. If we don't like it, that's, that's okay. We can just wipe it off again. Whoops. And then of course, if you go too, too thick, you can just what I'll do is once, once, <laughs> this is hard doing in front of the camera. Ah, going up. Um. <laughs> so uh, what you can do is once it's dried, I guess, just pop a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel there. And then you can just kind of clean up the sides, but you're not pushing hard enough that you're and they're taking out what's already in the little groove there, if you know what I mean. See, I've got the, that's that's the bits that went up the side of the mouth because my, my pen's, I mean, it's fine, but it's not that fine. So there we go. So that was the excess. Just wipe over the top. <clears throat> there you go. Look at that. And then we just got that little slight bit of definition there on the mouth. I like that. I do. I like that. All right, I'm going to need to um, see if I can do the rest of these toes. I've changed to this other pen. Let's see if I can do it here, actually. It might be easier just doing it down here. Can you still see? So I'm just going to kind of go around in a little circle like that. Just on all of them. If I need to do some touch-ups later, I will. But for now, I'm just going to go around on, on all of them. You're a little bit tricky to get in there, aren't you? So, yeah, I just wanted to do something, you know, a little bit different. I mean, I like doing the frogs, but I don't want to keep doing the same thing all the time with the frogs. I think it's nice to change it up a little bit. I've been seeing some amazing frogs from you guys on my Facebook group. You're all doing such good work. I love it. Keep the photos coming. Really enjoy seeing what you're all doing okay keep going ah yes knocked it all right so anyway you get the general idea i'm not gonna bore you with doing all of them now there you go <laughs> i love it i love it i love it there we go. All right. Well, once I've done, um, I'll I'll put him on my little 
turntable thingy um, so that you can see. But that's what it's looking like so far. All right, I'm going to finish this off and um, take some photos. And uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Hope you're enjoying my froggy videos. It looks a bit dark there. It's looking more gold. It's actually more of a rose gold kind of a kind of a gal, aren't you? More of a rose gold gal. Yes, you are. Just depends on. Uh, I can never get a good shot <laughs> with these ring lights on. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll see you all again real soon for the next video. <laughs> Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.